The city of St. Albert was named Alberta's best city again this year by McLean's Magazine. But the city is growing and municipal expenses are increasing. So St. Albert is looking at new ways to make these high standards of living sustainable. The city of St. Albert is such a great place to live because of the quality of life we have. There's something for everyone here. We're able to offer all amenities uh, that all our residents uh, come to want and expect. We are a very lucky community because we have this beautiful prairie river that flows through St. Albert. We have a very identifiable downtown. And so with that comes a commitment by myself, my council and residents to maintain the natural environment, um, the high quality of life. It, we're, we're a very safe community. So all those things combined contribute to uh, people's desire to move here and then to stay here. Traditionally, um, there's very limited revenue sources for municipalities and, and those have been in decline. So those are things like uh, service and user charges, um, utility rates, but more so property taxation and, and support uh, from other levels of government. So at the City of St. Albert, we recognize that this is a challenge and, and that the, you know, the box is only so big in what we can draw on from revenues and, and we really uh, understand and respect the other levels of government as well so we're, we're trying not to be dependent on them and be self-sustainable going forward. Uh, the City of St. Albert has options to increase revenues to maintain our quality of life. We could increase property taxes and that is always, it tends to be um, a municipal choice quite often and the City of St. Albert really wants to avoid that. We could raise uh, fees and fines we could increase the user fees and for swimming lessons and bus passes, etc. But we do want to make the lifestyle in St. Albert affordable. So we, we're really trying to avoid all of those options and, and again, think of something different. One potential solution for some new revenue is uh, the concept that St. Albert is exploring and that's a municipal utility corporation. So it is a arm's length corporation um, separated from the city. Many municipalities already have these. Uh, Edmonton would be the perfect example. Grand Prairie has one, uh, Medicine Hat has one, Calgary. And so these utility corporations can then act as a private corporation, um, more of a business than, than, than the bureaucracy of a public entity. And they will be able to um, bring in new lines of services that will generate revenue that will then feed back to the municipality to offset taxes. In terms of changes with the Utility Corp for a resident in St. Albert, there should be little to no changes. Uh, currently they receive water, wastewater, storm and, and solid waste services and they're going to continue to see those services. And uh, on day one of the Utility Corporation, they'll be doing the same thing that they were doing on the, on the last day as a city department. The focus is on it, adding more value to our ratepayers and not less value. Traditional servicing, which is you know traditionally the pipes underground, the water pipes, the sewer pipes, the storm pipes, and those are all come and go from big uh, treatment plants, uh, water treatment, wastewater treatment. We're looking at alternative servicing, doing more of it locally, so that we get the cost of those pipes down and the size of those pipes down. A municipal utility corp could create new sources of revenue in, in a variety of ways and that's what's so exciting about it. The biggest one that we keep talking about in St. Albert um, is called waste to energy. Quite often when people look at waste to energy concepts out there, Burnaby, even, even Edmonton has Enercam, they're big refineries. St. Albert's not looking for a big refinery, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for small scale, modular. And more on a decentralized basis. And then those make valuable products that, uh, that add to the value chain. So there's more value uh, through, through those commodities that we can, we can uh, reuse in the community or we can sell for value. Waste of energy could very likely take um, municipal waste that, it, that the entire world is having a problem with right now and generate uh, energy and probably some district heating or, or whatever we want on the back end. But it will uh, then be able to be sold on the marketplace and we'll make revenue from that. So the city currently has a request for proposals out for a waste to energy pilot program. And the intent of the waste to energy uh, pilot is as one to uh, understand the logistics and the costs of that to the city. But the second purpose of it is as a business incubator. So we want to work with 
businesses that have these technologies to help them to commercialize it. I'm very excited, and so is Council, to be able to work on this project. For the future, we all want to maintain the quality of life and the services that we enjoy here in St. Albert and that we're known for. So this is a, an opportunity to enable that to continue and perhaps even provide more value and more services to our residents going forward. We need to think of not only the environment but also the social aspects and the economic aspects of all our decision making and that is the, the concept of triple bottom line. So if we can really um, pay attention when we're making decisions that they have to benefit us in all three pillars, I guess, of sustainability, of uh, people, planet and profit, then we will be able to ensure that not only are we sustainable today, tomorrow, but also for the next generation.